In the previous video, we discussed uh, magnitude of earthquakes, and uh, we also discussed the loudness of sounds in decibels. Both involve exponential growth, and we did a few problems related to these two ideas. Now, in this section, we're going to discuss pH values. Now, suppose we're listening to music and we're sitting right next to a speaker that's blasting this music. Now, that sound is pretty loud and it gets uncomfortable. So what we do is we move away from that sound. We try to distance ourselves from that sound. We try to walk away so that intensity of the sound becomes less. So as we walk away from the speaker that's blasting music, the sound gets less intense. And the farther you are away from the music, the intensity of, or the loudness of the sound gets um, diminished. So there is a relationship between um, the intensity of the sound and the distance at which we are from the source of the sound. So the rule says that um, the intensity of the sound I is inversely proportional to 1 over d squared. That is called the inverse square law for sound. So that, if it's converted to an equation, is the same as the intensity is equal to k times k is some constant, 1 over d squared. So this is the equation that gives us the relationship between the distance at which we are from the source of the sound and the intensity of the sound that we hear. So as we walk away from the sound, the intensity decreases. So this is the relationship that we're going to use, and that's called the inverse square law of sound. Now the first question says, how many times greater is the intensity of sound from a concert speaker at a distance of one meter than the intensity at a distance 200 meters away? So here we are being asked to compare uh, the intensity of two different uh, situations, intensity of sound in two different situations. So in the first situation, Let's say the intensity of sound is 1 over d1 squared times k. So remember that k is some constant. You don't need to know what it is. Just remember that it is a constant. It doesn't change. It's the same number as long as we're using the, um, um, the, the same situation. So by the inverse square law, at a different distance, i2, the intensity of sound changes when you change the distance from d1 to d2. Uh, the, the equation that gives us the relationship between the intensity and distance is exactly the same except that the distance has now changed from d1 to d2. So these are the two equations that we have. Now if we divide one equation by the other, the first intensity divided by the second intensity, that's the relationship that we're trying to figure out. How many times greater is the intensity of sound from a concert speaker at a distance one meter away than it is uh, than the intensity at a distance 200 meters away. So we divide one by the other. Remember that k is a constant. It doesn't change as long as we're using the exact same equation for that situation. So i1 over i2 is k over d1 squared over k over d2 squared. So that is the same as k over d1 squared divided by k over d2 squared which is the same as um, k over d1 squared. And remember when multiplication, uh, or rather division changes to multiplication, we flip this fraction and it becomes d2 squared over k. So we flip the fraction, we take the reciprocal. So what's convenient is that k that we don't know what it is, is canceled um, because it's the exact same amount, k over k equals one, so it cancels off. And now we have an equation that we can use. So I1 over I2 is equal to D2 squared over D1 squared. Do you see how the uh, subscripts have switched now? So we have I1 in the numerator on the left, but D2 in the numerator on the right side. 
So this is the equation that we're going to use to figure out um, what we need to find out. So let's look at how we use this. So intensity at one meter divided by in intensity at 200 meters. So the distance d1 is equal to one meter and the distance d2 is equal to 200 meters. All we have to do is plug in the numbers, so intensity at one meter, so that's um, I1 over intensity at 200 meters is equal to distance, which is equal to 200 meters, the whole squared, so that's D2 whole squared divided by one squared. So simplifying, we get 40,000. So the intensity of sound at one meter is 40, thousand times as much as the intensity of sound at 200 meters. So the intensity decreases as you move away and look at the factor by which it decreases as compared to the sound at one meter. Now you're familiar with pH values um, and here is the basic idea. Pure water is neutral and has a pH of seven. Uh, acids have a pH lower than 7, so anything below 7 can be called acidic. And anything above 7, which is a pH of greater than 7, can be considered a base, or it can be called basic. So that's a base. So it's a basic solution, and this is an acidic solution. So pH below 7, acidic, pH above 7, basic and pH at seven is a neutral solution. Let's look at the rules uh, that we're going to use, the equations. For any calculations, we need equations. So these are the uh, equations that we're going to use for our problems. Now, um, the hydrogen ion concentration in moles per liter is the H plus. So as the hydrogen ions increase, uh, the solution becomes more acidic. So um, here we need the pH. If we know the pH, then we can figure out the hydrogen ion concentration. And if we know the hydrogen ion concentration, we can figure out the pH. So that gives, so these two equations are basically the same, except that one is in the log form or the logarithmic form, and the other is in the exponential form. And again, we can write it both ways because um, the exponential function is the inverse of the um, log function. So depending on what we need, we're going to use the appropriate uh, uh, formulas. So if the pH of a solution decreases by 3.5, for example, it goes from 6.5 to 3, how much does the hydrogen ion concentration change? By how much does it change? That's the question. Does the change make the solution more acidic or more basic? So here we're gonna compare the hydrogen ion concentration of a uh, 6.5 um, pH solution to a three pH solution. So the hydrogen ion concentration in a in an acidic solution is greater than in a basic solution. So a pH 3 solution is acidic and a pH 6.5 solution is basic. So we want to see uh, by what factor um, the hydrogen ion concentration changes as the pH changes by 3.5 or decreases by 3.5. So we're going to use this form of the equation since we're comp comparing the hydrogen ion concentrations. So the hydrogen ion concentration for a pH 3 solution divided by the hydrogen ion concentration of a pH 6.5 solution is equal to uh, 10 to the negative 3, because the formula is hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 10 to the negative pH. So all we have to do is plug in the pH value, and that's exactly what we've done here. So negative and three is the pH value. So the negative comes with the formula and the three 
is the pH. So pH equals 3. In the denominator, the pH equals 6.5. And all we've done is plugged in those numbers into the formula. Now simplifying, use your calculators if you don't want to do these calculations by hand. So this would be 10 to the 3.5. Now the hydrogen ion, what, what exactly does it mean since we've figured out the factor or how many times is the hydrogen ion concentration of a pH 3 um, solution uh, as compared to the hydrogen ion concentration of the 6.5 pH solution. So the answer is 10 to the 3.5. Now what does that mean? The hydrogen ion concentration increases <clears throat> by a factor of 3162.28 um, as compared to a, a solution that has pH 6.5 and that makes it acidic because the hydrogen ion concentration has increased which makes it um, acidic. So just remember, high, higher the hydrogen ion concentration, higher the acidity of the solution. Now the next problem is very similar to the previous one. How many times, the minute we see this term, how many times more acidic is the uh, acid rain with a pH of 2.5 uh, than ordinary rain with a pH of 6? So the minute we are comparing, we take a ratio. We are trying to find the factor. Now, higher the acidity, uh, higher the hydrogen, hydrogen ion concentration. So the hydrogen ion concentration for a 2.5 pH solution, which is the acid rain, divided by the hydrogen ion concentration for a um, pH 6 solution, which is ordinary rain, is equal to and we plug in the hydrogen ion concentration for a 2.5 is 10 to the negative pH, which is 2.5. Hydrogen ion concentration for pH 6 is equal to 10 to the negative pH, which is negative 6. Simplifying, use your calculator, as I said before, it comes up to 3,162. So the acid rain is 3,162 times as acidic as ordinary rain. Uh, so that is the comparison between the two solutions. One is the acid rain and the other is um, the ordinary rain. So in this section, we've done some basic problems related to magnitude of earthquakes, um, loudness of sound in decibels, and pH values. Um, as long as you have the equations available to you, you should be able to figure out, based on the question, which equation to use uh, to, to solve that particular problem. So focus on these seven types of problems that I have done in this section.